to go with me minutes, I'm afraid, because I've got an issue with this bus. So I uh, need to go and see the, um, the engineer. Yeah, the bus is so slow. I don't know what you realize, actually. I can't pull away properly. Bus? Yeah. Got nothing to do with that, I'm afraid. I can't do anything because it's gone already, isn't it? So you're going to have to wait. I should be having another bus, actually. Bus, I know that. I should know be the... having another, another bus, actually. So um, just be with me a minute. I'll have the uh, 42. Boss, I somewhat know the problem. Basically, the engine. No, no, no. Forget about it. Alright. I appreciate your concern, but thank you very much, yeah? No worries. So, basically, you man know of limp mode, yeah? When the computer, the engine's computer, detects a problem with the exhaust, the engine somewhere there. It will literally just put the thing into limp mode automatically. Until you fix that problem. So then, until you until you fix that problem, basically, you can't like move. You can't move any quicker. And then also, when you fix the problem, you have to restart the computer, the engine's computer, to that, so that it reboots the system and thinks that it's fine again. It's a bit jarring, but. It's a bit jarring for some of the drivers, but personally, I don't mind limp, man. Limps, it's satisfying to listen to the engine struggle a bit. I don't really hate limp, to be fair, but I can see why a lot of people hate it. I mean, the only time I hate limp is when the whole batch is on limp mode. Like, you look at the 255 ENLs, them, sh them things are actually shit. They're all limped.